So. All right, biggest move of the day, the Dodgers pick up Yu Darvish Assad from the uh, Rangers in exchange for three prospects, uh, the best of which is the second baseman, Willie Calhoun, who many think will actually be a corner infielder. The Yankees also bolstered their starting rotation, adding Sonny Gray from the A's, also for a package of three prospects. So, Sydney, as you look at the packages, who is the big deadline day winner in Major League Baseball? I mean, I, I got to look. I'm not a huge U Darvish guy. Because the, the, the one thing about U Darvish that bothers me is when we see him in the postseason, he's kind of sucked a little bit, right? Yeah. ERA over five. Now, we're talking two starts. And the same with Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray's been great over two starts. So, not much to pull from there. But that's, that worries me a little about U Darvish. The fact that it's a rental. The fact that the Dodgers didn't have to give up any of their top three guys in terms of prospects. Yeah. Love it. The fact that... They're being oddly coy with Clayton Kershaw's back injury. And you, and you don't know how many more starts Clayton Kershaw is going. I know there are a million games above 500. Right. You don't know how many more starts Clayton Kershaw is going to get. So now, let's say Kershaw comes back, and they're saying he's going to come back. You got Kershaw. You got you Darvish. You got the lefty Alex Wood, who's put up ridiculous numbers mm -hmm. this year. You have Rich Hill. If the blisters don't take him down, he'll be out there for you again. This is a real staff. And... And it wasn't just Darvish today for me, Tim. They picked up two lefties in the bullpen. T your boy, Tony Singrani mm -hmm. from the Reds, yeah. and Tony Watson from the Pirates. Two lefties to go with Kenley Jansen on the back end of the rotation. When you look at the two biggest threats to the Dodgers in this postseason, you're looking at the Cubs, yeah. you're looking at the Nationals. Who are we looking at? Left-handed hitter Bryce Harper. Mm -hmm. Left-handed hitter Daniel Murphy. Let's go to the Cubs. They just picked up Alex Avila. From the Tigers, one of the best catchers in baseball this season statistically. Oh, Ben Zobris is a switch hitter. He's pretty good. Oh, yeah, Anthony Rizzo, another left-handed guy you got to deal with come October. So not only do they pull Darvish for not their top-level guys, they get two more lefties having good years on the back end with Kenley Jansen. If the Dodgers don't win the World Series after all of this, Timmy, we've got another trade deadline to come mm -hmm. where you don't have to put a guy through waivers, then Dave Roberts needs to be fired and most people in that organization need to be fired. There is no excuse why this team minimum isn't in the World Series, isn't there fighting for their first World Series since 1988. There is, without a doubt, the feeling that the Dodgers went into this deadline as the favorite to win the World Series and came out of this deadline as the favorite to win the World Series. How they're on pace to win 114 games, that hasn't happened a hell of a lot in Major League Baseball. Pretty good. But I wonder, one, we do know that um, Kershaw is thrown. So that's a good sign that he is throwing. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't suggest we've heard anything otherwise. I just know there are people eternally nervous about him because he's that important. And I wonder how much the picking up of Darvish had to do with Kershaw's struggles in the postseason. Like, you said Darvish has struggled in the postseason. So has Clayton Kershaw, and he's the best damn pitcher maybe both of us have ever seen. It's pretty good. Like, regular season numbers are off the charts postseason numbers I just wonder how much the Dodgers are worried about one getting him back and healthy for the playoffs and if this will mess with his mind because we've seen his mind mess with before in the postseason um in messing with his mind in terms of him not being the ace anymore the injury messing with no his mind. I mean the injury messing with his yeah, mind no, because real. his mind has been messed with without an injury it's just you hate to see it happen this late in the year right like if he has September to come back, okay. You prefer it to be longer with K with Kershaw, but I, I I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. He this is a nervous situation, and again, they're not saying he's out for the year or anything. But the Darvish pickup says there are people inside the team who say, all right, maybe we need a plan B, maybe just maybe.